Of those protests stretched from the late morning all the way to early last night, most of them overwhelmingly peaceful. However, at one point, some of them became unruly in Midtown, and that is when police moved in, bringing an end to a very historic and emotional day. Protests continued overnight through Manhattan, with some lingering abortion activists blocking traffic in Midtown near Bryant Park, ending in nearly two dozen arrests. Once the official event ended, uh, a group of people decided to block traffic on 6th Avenue. Uh, as of that point, uh, NYPD started coming. Thousands of protesters made their way from Washington Square Park and Union Square across Manhattan. With a message for the six justices who reversed Roe on Friday. I'm fed up with white men making decisions for me. Um, and now, even knowing that some women stood by their side and made that decision too is really disappointing. Freedom of choice. Give us a choice. Give us a choice. The choice is now given back to the individual states. But New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut are among those who will continue administering abortions. Among the tears of rage, there was also joy in the crowds. This has been by far the best week of my life. Um, it's just there's now hope for the women and children who have been hurt and killed by abortion. Though companies like Disney, Tesla, and Starbucks, just a few of the dozens who are now offering to pay for their employees' expenses who need to travel for reproductive rights. People that are actually experiencing this aren't aren't reflected in the courts and the people that this decision is going to affect are people without money because if you have the time and resources you're going to be able to find an abortion. Ultimately this ruling is expected to put abortions on hold in about 26 states with about 13 of them stopping the appointments immediately. Reporting live in Washington Square Park, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.